Hello everyone and welcome to this Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial. In this episode, I, Bottle Zebra, will be showing you the basics. So, if you're already familiar with these, you can just skip on to episode 2, where we will be going through decorating. Yes, that is it, decorating. Let's go to Files, Data, and click Skyrim and update and click OK yes OK so this is going to load for a while so I'll be back when it has actually loaded OK so it has loaded and this warning will pop, or these kinds of warnings will pop up during, you know, when it's loading all the references. Because apparently Bethesda made some mis mistakes. I almost said bistics. Mistakes while making this, or making Skyrim. I'm not really sure if it's actually mistakes or it's just something weird. I don't know. I haven't actually checked out these places. But this is basically the bug testing of it. Now, for you English people, there will be a yes to all button. But for other languages, it might actually just have yes, no, and abort. And I have a Swedish version, so I have sort of a problem. I have to go and check, or er er click yes to all the errors. And that's a pain in the ass. Now, the setup will look a bit different for you from the start but I like to change it so it looks like this now what you want to do first is go to AAA markers object or the object AAA markers and duplicate the cell then you go and select the cell you just duplicated or the cell the duplicate of the cell you just duplicated and you select everything inside by shift clicking at the top and the bottom ones and you delete them all and at first it will not show up but if you select another cell and then go back to your cell that you just created they will all be gone doesn't really matter which cell you switch to just any any update to the just anything that updates the cell view or the objects view. And then rename your cell custom house, for example, because that is what we are making in this tutorial. A custom house fully equipped with uh, spouse port, different chairs and stuff, bookshelves, weapon racks, all sorts of things. And then we will move on to making an entire town. Now go to World Objects, Static, Architecture, Farmhouse and... Yes, Farmhouse. And you can actually select Interior. However, do not select interior quite yet because we need a farmhouse to compare everything to. So what you need to do is find a farmhouse of your liking and place it in the render window. Yes, that is correct, the render window. Now that you have, or when you find a house that's suitable, actually we're not doing that quite yet, we're doing the scaling now. So if you press 2 you get this weird thing that I'm showing you right now, with sort of scaling tool, yeah. And it varies the sizes of the different objects in the world. Make You can make, for example, a little chicken seem like a giant if you want to. I won't recommend it. Just p 
pull out a house that you like. I don't really like this one. I would just make sure the scale is at one. And then... You can move them on the x-axis. To, to, to move it only on the x-axis, you press X. To move it only on the z-axis, you press z. And to move it only on the y-axis, you press y. Now, by default, it will only move on x and y. However, when you press the button, or when you press Z, you move it up and down. Now, to move your camera around, you shift click, and you shift click, yes, yeah, that's it, and you just move your mouse. And to move objects around, you just, well, you know, click on them and move them and drag your mouse around. To rotate objects you right click on them and rotate and the same axis thing goes there as well z to rotate the z axis x to rotate x axis so on so on now you can also press the middle mouse button which m will move your camera but not the objects in the view and i use that quite a lot because well it's just useful, I guess, to get to a place. Maybe if you're in t the terrain, there's a place you like to place a tree at. But you can't get there because, well, you have to select another tree and press T. Which, by the way, I should probably mention, uh, if you select something and press T, you will stop center on it. So you will see it from the top, like that. Now just drag out a few pieces from interiors and there you can see all the way if you open up view and or edit and uh, yeah and red and the window hotkeys you can see the different controls if I missed anything but I don't really think I did not anything that you need right now so I'll pull out some parts from the interior farmhouse interior they should all be named farm int something and just pull out some pieces I'm currently looking for something that one but with a door I'm guessing a whoopsie I'm guessing yes this is the one now you also want to click snap to grid up there like I just did because this is a very useful tool in building interiors and they all just snap together all well, they snap on the grid and the, the they are modeled by a grid so you can drag them around but they will always snap together and this is really useful and then just you know make sure I mean, you could make a house that's bigger on the inside than on the outside. However, that is most of the time not liked. People don't really like it when you do that. They want it to be realistic. I mean, you could do a basement that's huge, but you want you want people to, to have... If you see a small house on the outside, you want it to be small inside as well. You can't just have a big-ass long house when you just placed a little farmhouse. Now that we have a house, I guess that's really all for this time. Now, one thing you don't want to do is click the All tab without having anything in the filter. I'm telling you, you are going to make this mistake a lot of times. It's nothing to worry about, really. It's just going to lag a lot. However, never remove the filter while you're in the all tab like I just did because it will lag a lot unless you have a extreme hardcore beast processor and your computer is like empty or well, having like none no other processors running well that is it for this time if you enjoyed the video found it helpful please subscribe leave a like something like that and uh, leave any questions in the comments section
Yeah, bye.